Das Siva Purana. Published by Moti Lal Banasi. This publishes PVT Limited, Delhi 2002. The Glory of Siva Purana. Part 1 Greatness of Siva Purana. Siva Purana Mahatmyam. Chapter 5 Bindaga's Salvation. Sonaka said. 1 to 2. O Sutta, the fortunate Sutta, thou art blessed with thy mind engrossed in Siva. The story that thou hast narrated to us is wonderful and conducive to the increase of devotion. What did the woman Kankula do after obtaining her salvation? O oh intelligent one, please tell me in detail the story of her husband too. 3. Once she approached Goddess Uma Parvati. She bowed and offered prayers to her with palms joined in her flutter of delight. Kankula said. 4. O oh mother of Skanda, daughter of mountain, Thou art always served by men. O beloved of Siva, the bestower of all pleasures, having the form of Supreme Brahman. 5. Thou art worthy of being served by Vishnu, Brahma and others. Thou art both endowed with, and devoid of attributes. Thou art the subtle primordial Prakriti, with existence, knowledge and bliss for thy forms. 6. Thou createst, maintainest and annihilatest. Thou hast the three gunas. Thou art the refuge of the three types of divine beings. Thou sustainest Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesha. Sutta said. 7. Offering thus her prayers to the goddess, Kankula who had attained salvation ceased to talk with shoulders stooping and eyes brimming with tears of love. 8. Parvati, the beloved of Siva, ever favoring her devotees, was greatly moved by pity and said to Kankula lovingly. Parvati said. 9. O Kankula, my friend, I am pleased to hear your prayer. O beautiful woman, what is the boon you crave from me? Tell me. There is nothing that I cannot give you. Sutta said. 10. Thus urged by Girija, Kankula bowed to her. She asked her, bending her head and joining her palms together with great devotion. Kankula said. 11. O celestial Girija, I do not know where my husband is at present, nor where he is to go. O benignant favorite of the distressed, please make such arrangements as would enable me to join him. 12. O great goddess Mahesani, my husband had a Sudra woman as his concubine. He died before me. I do not know what befell that sinner. Sutta said. 13. On hearing these words of Kankula Parvati, the daughter of Himalaya, who is fond of justice, replied lovingly. Giriji said. 14. O daughter, your wicked sinful husband Bindaga, the foolish wretch enamored of prostitutes has been to hell after his death. 15. He underwent the various tortures of hell for many years and has now become a Pizaka due to the residue of sins, in the Vindhya mountains. 16. Even now that wicked fellow is undergoing various painful tortures. He, in the form of a Pizaka, has only wind for his diet and is suffering from all sorts of miseries. Sutta said. 17. On hearing these words of Gori, Kankula of auspicious rites was overwhelmed by the pain at the news of her husband's distress. 18. She somehow steadied her mind, bowed to Maheshwari and with a worried heart asked the goddess. Kankula said. 19. O Maheshwari, O great goddess, be kind to me. Please redeem my husband, a wicked perpetrator of evil actions though he be. 20. What is the means by which my husband, the sinful wretch of crooked intellect, can attain salvation. O Goddess, obeisance to thee. Please explain to me. Sutta said. 21. On hearing these words of the woman, Parvati, favorably disposed to her devotees, replied to her chaperone Kankula, delighted in her heart. Parvati said. 22. If your husband were to hear the holy story of Siva, he shall surmount the misery entirely and attain salvation. 23. On hearing these words of Gori, little short of Nektar, she bent her shoulders, joined her palms and bowed repeatedly with great devotion. 24. 
she requested the goddess to provide an opportunity for her husband to hear the story for quelling his sins and gaining redemption. Sutta said. 25. Gauri, the beloved of Siva, on being frequently requested by the woman, took pity on her, making it clear thereby that, she was favorably disposed to her devotees. 26. Lovingly she sent for the Gandhava king, Tamburu, who used to sing songs of praise of Siva. The daughter of Himalaya said thus to him. Giriji said. 27. O Tamburu, the favorite of Siva, ever ready to do as I wish, blessedness be thine. Accompany this lady immediately to Vindhya mountain. 28. There is an awfully terrible Pizaka there. I shall tell you all his antecedents. You will be interested to know the same. 29. This Pizaka had been a Brahmin in his previous birth. Then he was the husband of this woman who is my chaperone now. He was very wicked and had a sudra concubine. 30. He was impure, never caring for the daily performance of ablutions and sandhya prayers. His mind was ever vitiated by anger. He ate all sorts of foul things. He quarreled with good men and whatever he undertook had been bad. 31. He was violent in his ways, bearing weapons and oppressing poor people cruelly. He used to take food with his left hand. He used to commit arson in other people's house. 32. He was friendly with Chandalas. Every day he took delight in the company of prostitutes, forsaking his own wife. The roguish sinner took delight in associating with the wicked. 33. In evil association with harlots he destroyed all his merits. Besides, coveting more and more wealth, he made his own wife a fearless sharer of her paramour's beds. 34. His evil ways continued till the last moments of his life, and when he died he went to Yama's city, the terrible place where sinners reap the fruits of their misdeeds. 35. After undergoing the tortures of many hells, the wicked wretch is now roaming in the Vindhya mountain as a roguish sinful Pizaka. 36. Narrate the holy sanctifying tale of sacred Siva Purana, that quells all sins, in front of him. 37. Immediately after hearing the great story of Siva Purana, his soul will be cleared of sins, and he will cast off his ghosthood. 38. I order you to set that Bindaga free from the miserable plight of Pizaka and bring him in the aerial chariot in the presence of Lord Siva. Sutta said. 39. Commanded thus by Parvati, Tamburu, the Lord of Gandavas, was much delighted and thought within himself how fortunate he was. 40 or 41. Tamburu, the comrade of Nerda, went to the Vindhya mountain seated in the aerial chariot in the company of Kankula, the sinless woman and saw the Pizaka laughing, crying and loudly shouting by turns. His body was very huge, his jaws were immensely large and his form was very crooked. 42. The powerful Tamburu, the singer of the excellent songs of praise of Siva, forcefully caught hold of the terrible Pizaka by means of nooses. 43. Thereafter, for the sake of the discourse on Siva Purana, Tamburu made elaborate festive arrangements. 44 to 45. There was much talk and discussion among the people of all the worlds. O Tamburu has gone to the Vindhya mountain at the suggestion of Goddess, to narrate the story of Siva Purana to redeem the Pizaka. The divine sages too hastened to the place for listening to the same. 46. The wonderful congregation of those who assembled there, reverently eager to listen to Siva Purana, was very auspicious. 47. They bound the Pizaka with nooses and compelled him to sit there. With the lute in his hands, Tamburu began to sing the story of Gauri's consort. 48. Starting with the first Samhita, Compendium, and ending with the seventh one he clearly expounded the whole of Siva Purana along with its Mahatmya, greatness. 49. On hearing the Siva Purana, consisting of seven compendiums, with great reverence all the listeners deemed themselves highly blessed. 50. The Pizaka too, on hearing the holy Siva Purana, cast off all his sins and discarded his ghostly body. 51. 
He assumed the divine form of the three-eyed moon-crested god, Siva, white in complexion, clad in white cloth, with the body illuminated and embellished by all ornaments. 52. Taking up the divine body, the glorious Bindaga, accompanied by his wife, sang the story of Parvati's consort. 53. On seeing his wife thus, all the divine sages had a welcome surprise and were highly delighted in their minds. 54. Gratified on hearing the wonderful story of Siva, they returned to their respective abodes, delightedly glorifying Siva. 55. Bindaga in his divine form ascended the aerial chariot with great pleasure. High up in the sky, with his wife at his side he shone brilliantly. 56. Singing the pleasing attributes of Siva, he hastened to Siva's region, accompanied by Tamburu and his own wife. 57. Bindaga was welcomed by Siva and Parvati and was lovingly made their attendant. His wife became the chaperone of Girija. 58. In that permanent abode of excellent bliss and sublime luster, he acquired an unassailable residence and unobstructed pleasure. 59. Thus I have narrated this holy anecdote that removes sins, is highly delightful to Siva and Parvati in pure and heightening devotion. 60. He who listens to this account with devotion and recites this piously shall enjoy immense pleasures and obtain liberation. If you enjoyed this audiobook, please like and subscribe to be notified of when new audiobooks are uploaded. Thank you for listening and learning. Shanti.